Okay, pretend for a moment that we do not know EFF in the log X, but keep in mind that log X, log X has an inverse function defined on that. Call it E, use the identity to, ju to, to juice that. Okay. So let's try and simplify EA, EB. So EA will be the inverse of A. So that is E A that is a little bit like log inverse A. So if we apply, yeah, so I guess what we're trying to say here is log EA equals A. So that means one to EA, one over T dt, and then likewise log EB, um, that should equal B. And also, log EB should equal B, and then log EB also equals 1 to EB, 1 over T and do T. And then um, log EA, EB. That will equal log EA plus log EB, which equals A plus B, which is the, the sum of these two. Yeah, so what about E A plus B log E A plus B that would equal um A plus B ah which now we know equals log E A E B because going backwards Okay, so log E A plus B equals A plus B. Okay, so that's that's kind of the key then. So we have log E A plus B. That will equal A plus B, which will equal log E A plus log E B, uh, which will equal log E A eb so that means log ea plus b equals log ea eb which and cancel the logs that would means e a plus b equals ea plus uh, times eb okay Okay, I guess that's okay.